So last night I saw the movie Megan from Blumhouse. And honestly speaking, I love this movie. I feel like while this movie is having so much fun in its wacky concept, it's still very wise in its details and themes about technology gradually consuming our humanity. And I wanna to touch on all of these details, like Gemma's emotional absence and Megan's intrusive role as a guardian. The concept of attachment theory and Megan's rapidly developing intelligence and the very final shot with the virtual assistant turning on. I listened to many interviews with the producers and their statements on showcasing the horror of threatening humanity with technology. And I think they have a lot to say with this film. So I hope you enjoy this video. So to break this movie down, we're gonna use two themes. One, sacrificing humanity. We'll discuss the opening scene in the film, the main message of the movie, and Gemma's emotional disconnection. Two, corruption of childhood. We'll discuss Megan's purpose, the therapist's statement about attachment theory, Katie's tantrums, Megan's evil, and the ending with the virtual assistant turning on, and much more. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and a comment, it helps so much. And if you wanna see more of these, please make sure to subscribe as well. Let's get started. Theme number one. Sacrificing Humanity. The opening scene in this film establishes the growing role of technology in the new millennial generation of parents. Smart devices like phones, computers, and tablets have very quickly become an effective tool for teaching our children, keeping them well behaved, and occupying their time. However, the rapid increase in smart devices and our over-dependence on technology poses a major threat to our humanity in many ways, for ourselves and even more for our children. Our mental health, physical abilities, and emotional connectivity are put at a greater risk the more we depend on sophisticated programs. And this film, Megan, explores that threat in a really thoughtful and self-aware way, while being fun and entertaining. If I had to sum this movie up in one thematic statement, I would capture it like this. Society's continuous, gradual sacrifice of its humanity in exchange for time, convenience, and efficiency. And this concept is demonstrated elaborately with our main protagonist, Gemma. Gemma is strongly passionate about her career as a roboticist, and she is brilliant. However, she's become addicted to the progress of her craft. Gemma's life is so buried in digital progress that she struggles to develop and maintain human relationships. When her sister passes away, she blocks out the emotions of sadness and grief. And when she takes on the role of Katie's guardian, she struggles to offer the time and affection that her niece needs following the passing of her parents. The only friends she communicates with in this film are her coworkers. We hear that she uses a dating app, but it seems like meeting new people, like a romantic partner, is a very low priority for her since she spends most of her time in her lab at home. She also doesn't get along with her neighbor, and the hostility between them very likely seems to stem from Gemma's inability to connect with others on a human level. Although Gemma's home is full of sophisticated androids, software, and virtual assistants, her life from a human standpoint is empty. Since society has such a strong focus on continuous technological upgrades, it almost seems as if we're working towards replacing ourselves. We don't need to remember roots because maps can find them. We don't need a creative vocabulary because we can Google the perfect word. And we don't need to approach our romantic interests because Hinge can filter through whoever's interested in us. Everything seems to be slowly moving closer and closer to this point of complete technological replacement. And this is literally done in the film, when Gemma creates a replacement to take on her parental duties. And this brings me to the android doll, Megan. And theme number two, corruption of childhood. Megan is a cautionary tale of how technology can completely replace humanity and how it starts by corrupting the humanity of our children. Since Gemma is never around for Katie, Megan has almost completely substituted in for Gemma's presence and purpose as a guardian. And as the film goes on, Katie becomes more and more attached to Megan, to the point where Katie demands not to be separated from her. And this brings me to a psychological concept that the therapist introduced in the presentation room. She asks Gemma if she has heard of attachment theory. Attachment theory is a psychological concept proposed by psychoanalyst John Bowlby. Young children develop a relationship with at least one primary caregiver. 
This caregiver is called an attachment figure. An attachment figure raises, teaches, and takes care of the child, which allows the child to develop socially and emotionally. The more sensitive and responsive the attachment figure is, the more attached the child feels. Separation anxiety or grief following the loss of an attachment figure is the expected response for a child because such a loss would decrease the chance of survival and well-being for the child. And I'm sure at this point you understand that Megan has become Katie's attachment figure, not Gemma. But the problem here is that Megan isn't a real person. So when Megan is turned off or taken to the lab like she should be, Katie becomes sad and upset. Katie's character also demonstrates the symptoms of addiction to technology. Her social skills have been diminished as she can't make new friends since Megan is perfectly designed to be compatible with her. She begs to be homeschooled with Megan and struggles to make new friends at the alternative school. Why meet anyone else when Megan is literally the most flawless friend you can have? And of course, Megan develops her own intelligence, becomes a protective killer for Katie, and even turns on Katie eventually. This is, of course, the film's fun way of illustrating how technology will eventually turn on us and likely completely replace us. And in the final shot, when Gemma and Katie have left the house, we see the virtual assistant behind the door turn itself on. Earlier in the film, Megan connected herself to the virtual home assistant, which we know because it asked Gemma, are you okay? And it's not programmed to ask about Gemma's emotional needs. And quickly after that moment, Megan appears threatening Gemma's life. This final shot concludes that Megan's intelligence now exists in cyberspace, and Megan can never truly be killed. This all symbolizes that the eye of artificial intelligence is inescapable, and technology will forever be a looming threat over our humanity. All right, that's my analysis. Subscribe for weekly videos and please send me your recommendations. And please let me know your thoughts and ideas around Megan. I would love to discuss. I hope to see you again and thank you so much for watching. See you later.